It's out with the old and in with the new. Last week, the new University Health Center finally opened for business. Even amongst the hustle and bustle of Halloween and the elections, the new center's grand opening hasn't gone unnoticed. So far, the response is, is, has been uh, very favorable, especially with the location being more in the center of campus. If the old health center's building seemed to be stuck in a time warp, the new one has brought U of A students into the 21st century, a world of technology, psychology, and radiology. There's even some new additions that may surprise you. We have our primary medical clinic, we have our counseling and psychological services, we have health promotion and education. The staff is still settling in, but they're ready to do some healing, sometimes even on themselves. So pass it on. Is there a reason that this has to be done? Yes. There's a new place to be sick on campus, but they'll fix you right up. Pardon me? I can do that, yes. Yeah. The new University Health Center is at the corner of Garland Avenue and Maple Street, and it's open from 8 to 5 on weekdays. Reporting for UATV News, I'm Ross Wagner. You may think Razorback cheerleading is all fun and games, but UATV reporter Lauren Arnold takes a closer look into cheering for the hogs. Here's the truth. No song and dance. UA students will do anything to support the Razorbacks, especially during homecoming week. Last week, UA students strutted their stuff for a talent show in support of homecoming. The performers are really, really good, especially the singers, dancers, batons, magicians. And we have a lot of great people out here ready to watch, and the talents are just perfect. I'm gonna, you know, move around. Yeah, do a little. Hey, you know. <laughs> the show allowed students to brush up on their talents. There was even a celebrity host. Damon Williams is a comedian from Chicago, and he kept things light at the event. The university program sponsored the talent show, which was free to students, but if you weren't able to make it, there's still several events planned by the UP during the rest of the semester. Reporting for UATV News, I'm Ross Wagner. Okay, yeah, guys, I'm standing here outside the former location of the Wesley Foundation, where actually they have torn down the old building, as you can see, because it had gotten too old to hold their meetings there anymore, and now they're holding them in this tent. Now, the problem being that the cold weather has come earlier this year than anyone's used to. So next week, after this week's meeting, they're planning on moving to the Pomfret classroom until the winter weather goes away. So right now, I don't know if you can hear, but the band is trying to warm up inside the tent, but the cold weather is making that difficult. So I'm sure that the band, as well as everyone who attends the Wesley Foundation meetings, are going to be very happy to hear about the upcoming move to the Pomfret classroom. Reporting for UATV News, I'm Ross Wagner. Well, some U of A students will soon be duct taped to a wall. Every spring, the College of Engineering holds Engine Week. The celebration is designed to test engineering students' abilities through a series of fun games. This year, students will participate in events ranging from tug of war to a campus-wide medallion hunt to an Xbox Halo contest. But the most popular event always proves to be stick em up. Teams in this game have two minutes to suspend one member on a wall 24 inches above the ground using only one full roll of duct tape. Assistant Dean of Undergraduate Programs William Warnock says that Engine Week highlights the students' skills while allowing them to relieve the pressure and stress of studies. It was a crowded marketplace on campus last week. Many countries were represented in an international bazaar in the Union. Some were, well, bizarre. Ever heard of Myanmar? But most were places we've all heard of, showcasing items of interest from their cultures. Each country flew their flags high, sort of. Veronica Carmack represented Peru. Well, I think every 
country has, you know, their own thing, and every everything is very interesting for other cultures. It was her first time to attend a bazaar on a college campus. Usually, I go to schools. I had this chance this year to be here. And just... Here at the International Bazaar, you could have your cake and eat it too, as well as try a variety of different international flavors. The exotic cheeses and spiced meats went quick. Too bad students couldn't wash it down with some Inca cola from Peru. Sorry guys, display only. Veronica took some time to display her musical talents for the many groups of middle school students at the bazaar. But hers wasn't the only country with exotic instruments to show off. With huge crowds and colorful, authentic costumes around every turn, it was easy to get lost in translation. And there you have it. Culture shock, courtesy of the University of Arkansas. Hi, I'm Ross Wagner. I'm standing outside the Jose's Mexican restaurant here on Dixon Street, a staple for 25 years. And now the owner, Joe Fennell, has just sold the first franchise, actually. So there's going to be a new one opening up in Springdale sometime this month. It's going to be located in the old Cafe Santa Fe restaurant. They've built a patio onto it. It's 7,000 square feet. It's going to be able to hold 175 people at a time. So we're all really excited about that. And now uh, whether you live in Springdale or Fayetteville, you'll be able to eat at Jose's Mexican Restaurant. So Ross Wagner reporting for UATV News. The UVA wants to be taken advantage of. Several places on campus are working hard to make finals week less stressful. By popular demand, the Mullins Library is staying open for extended hours. An extra hour each day and we have extended hours on Friday and Saturday night. Normally we're open to six on Friday and Saturday. The new hours seem to be popular among last-minute crammers. We've seen an increase in the number of students over the years. The library isn't the only place working overtime. There's actually several opportunities to make finals easier for students this year. The student-run Crisis Center is hosting a dead day party with stress-relieving tips and massages in the union, and they're sure to calm the nerves. Elsewhere in the union, the University Theater is running constant hit movies. And for the malnourished, there are free donuts and other treats around every corner. Well, we just wanted to help out our non-traditional commuter students uh, today, tomorrow, and dead day Wednesday with some breakfast snacks in the morning and some additional snacks around noon time. And that's just to help people have a little refreshments while they're studying up here in the lounge. And to top it off, the buses will be running extra hours to incorporate students' busy schedules. So relax. The university is the reason for finals, but they've still got your back while you prepare for them. Reporting for UATV, I'm Ross Wagner.